Hi, Uncle KB. Hi, Goggle. Welcome to my office. Thanks, Uncle. What are all these people working on? Well, Goggle, we are a software company. So, most of us do our work on computers. Oh, can you tell me more about these computers? Sure, Goggle. Goggle, you know that a computer is a machine. A machine is meant to make our work easier. Yes, but how is a computer useful to us, Uncle? A computer can do many things, Goggle. A computer can play music, run movies and games, help you draw and solve sums. But I can solve sums and draw without a computer too. Yes, very true, Goggle. But a computer can do some tasks better than us. Really, Uncle? Yes, a computer can work much faster than we humans can. So, for example, they can solve sums faster than us. Also, we can make mistakes. But a computer does not. Doesn't a computer ever get tired? No, Goggle. A computer neither gets tired like we do, nor does it get bored doing the same work over and over again. Okay, yes, I sometimes get tired and bored when Mom asks me to practice the sums again and again. <laughs> but... It's good for you, Goggle. Also, a computer can store huge amounts of information in its memory. But we cannot store as much in our minds. Doesn't the computer forget ever, Uncle? No, Goggle. We humans do forget. But a computer never forgets the information stored in it. Wow! But... On the other hand, Goggle, we humans have feelings and emotions. We sometimes may feel happy and sometimes sad. But a computer does not have any feelings or emotions. Uncle, can a computer start work on its own? No, Goggle. A computer cannot start work on its own as it cannot take decisions. Humans can take decisions and thus can work on their own. Okay, so a computer is smart but not as smart as us. True, Goggle. KB Uncle, why does your computer look different from the one on that table? Goggle, there are many types of computers. And they come in different sizes. The computer kept on that desk is called a desktop computer. And what is this computer called? These smaller computers that can be kept on our laps are called laptops. And Mr. Ali over there is working on a palm top computer. Palm top? What is a palm top, uncle? Palm top computers are even smaller computers that can fit into the palm of our hand. Laptops and palm tops can work on batteries also. Desktop, laptop or palm top computers are also called personal computers or PCs. Why personal, uncle? They are personal because they can only be used by one person at a time. Okay, got it, Uncle KB. You know, Goggle, a computer is a machine and just like a television or a fridge runs on electricity. But Uncle, we can switch on or switch off the television and fridge. Can we do the same with a computer? Yes, Goggle. It is known as starting and shutting down a computer. 
How do we do that? Patience, Goggle. First, I will show you the proper way to start a computer. Let's take a closer look at the desktop. To start a computer, first switch on the power supply. Then switch on the UPS. Next, press the power button on the CPU cabinet. Finally, switch on the monitor. Look, this screen that has appeared now is called the desktop. Wow! I can see some small pictures on the desktop. What are these? These small pictures are called icons. Now, do you know how to start a computer? Yes, Uncle KB. Now, how do we shut it down? Okay. To shut down a computer, first click the start button. Next, click the shut down option. The message is logging off and then shutting down will appear. Look, Uncle, the monitor has turned blank. Yes, Goggle. Now switch off the power button on the monitor. Next, switch off the UPS. And finally, switch off the power supply. But to keep the UPS charged, leave the power supply on. You know, laptops and palm tops can work on batteries too. Okay, so we can use them anywhere we want to. Yes, almost. So, Goggle, all clear? Yes, Uncle KB. Thanks so much. Welcome, Goggle. Oh, it's closing time. Shall we go home now? Sure.